Here's a finished mask without a nose wire. This one has no nose wire in it. Um, this is the looping system. So I have taken a piece of yarn and just run it up a channel that runs up the side of the mask. So you drop this portion over your head, put this part on your face, and then tie this above the ears behind the head. And so it's adjustable. You'll need a pretty long piece of cotton yarn to do that or some kind of cotton strip or whatever so that the entire thing is made of cotton except for the the wire piece that will be installed up here and that's optional if you don't have the wire piece you could wear safety goggles or sunglasses or something to hold this against your nose um, just so that extra air isn't coming down through here mostly what these masks do is prevent the wearer from exhaling moisture that could carry germs and viruses out. It's not gonna be medical grade N95 mask, but it is quite suitable for preventing other people from catching something from you. And if everybody wore them and everybody stayed pretty clean with the hands and everything, a whole lot less virus would be traveling around. So that's why I like this model. Also, it's very well shaped for the face. So this is the pattern that I'm using. These are paper pattern pieces, and you could really just cut it out this way. Um, I put this on the fabric, face up, so with your pretty pattern, face up, and then basically that's how I cut it out. A set for the outside and a set for the inside. It's best to have two different colors of fabric. That way, the person who's wearing it knows Last time I wore it this side out, so this side is basically the germ side, and this side is my face side. What I do is, after I have my patterns cut out, I'll put them right sides together, and sew right along here, leaving about, I leave about a quarter of an inch for hem. And then I do the same for the inside one. So it, right sides together, and sew it together. That way, when you open up this one with that seam there, this is the outside. You will notice on the pattern, this line is longer than this line. The, the shorter one, that goes under the chin, okay? Because there's a, a longer distance over the bridge of the nose. Okay, now I've sewn the inside together. Looks like this and the outside, which looks like this. Now they fit together. That's a two layer. However, my mask is going to be three layers because in between those two layers, I'm using this shop towel, which is a super durable, washable towel. And that's going to be a third layer. And so I'll cut that out with the same pattern pieces. Right sides together. And now I'm gonna sew along this edge. Both outer edges are sewn. I have the outsides sewn together, and now I'm going to flip it inside out. Okay, tuck the inside pattern in, hem the edge, so flip over the edge about a quarter of an inch all the way around, and sew all the way around that edge on both openings, all the way around. And then we're gonna build a channel in where that cord's gonna go. Now the top and the bottom are hemmed and it's ready to fit the sides together. I find it easier to just put, put the string in at the end, okay? The top and bottoms are hemmed, still open. So um, the next thing I do is so leaving space here about 
you need about half an inch, quarter to half an inch here, and just sew both the front and the back together, and then stop here, leaving this area open. Okay, now I've sewn both sides together, leaving a gap here where there's a channel that the safety pin can run down, okay? Take the safety pin, put it through whatever cotton material. I'm using cotton on purpose so that you can boil this whole thing to sterilize it. So take your safety pin, stick it in the channel, and you can use that to push from the top of the mask down to the bottom. To pull your string through. And now come up from the other side with the string. There. So this part goes over your head. Put this over your head. You can lay this down and tie this part behind your head. How I make my wire nose pieces, um, I have some brass. This is 18 gauge, but you can use thinner. I'm also going to experiment with using Coke can metal. I think two layers of Coke can metal glued together with some hot glue would probably be thick enough. Take off any burrs that came from cutting using a metal file so you can take off any burrs. Also, you wanna cut off the pointy edges so that it doesn't cut right through the fabric because metal is sharp. And the other thing I did was take hot glue and put it on the tips. So that's gonna become that's gonna become a nose wire. Wrap up that wire in some fabric. This is actually pretty tricky, but you have to wrap it in some fabric after it's got its hot glue on the end pieces and sew this down to the bridge of the nose. So see there's wire in there. This one has ear loops, but I could easily cut these ear loops open and run string through it instead because it's also made with a channel. It's not sewn in there.